All right, welcome back to my channel, Liberty Speaking to John. Um, if you haven't noticed, I got I got a new ring. But uh, beyond that, this is about the Oculus. Uh, I did some research for you for the new specs. Um, I got the. Uh, you guys already know it's under my bed, but you know I got the Oculus One. You know I already got the. I been had that. It cost me five hundred forty nine dollars to get that. You know that was. It was sold out quick, so I think I think they're getting a little smarter. They're probably going to make a lot more because they stopped. Let me get into this. There's, there's reasons I think they're going to make more. Um, the Oculus Quest 2, you know, you, it's a good system because the Valve VR drops support. They drop support for, for, for the Mac operating system. You know, the Valve is, you know, Steam and all that. And the reason why they drop the support is because... They're barely able to keep up with it, you know, with the specs, you know, so like they just dropped the support for it. So uh, the team is going to focus more on Windows and more on Linux, you know, so that's just to make you guys more aware of that. Um, Half-Life Alex, which I have, which is an amazing, amazing game. Like you, uh, it, it's hard to explain. You live in there and you're Alex, you're the girl and it's, it six, cost me 60 bucks. It was worth it. It was worth double that, trust me. I'm not done with beating it yet. But uh Half Like Alex Alex sold around a million copies its first month. You know, so that just shows you what's happening to VR. A million copies its first month, you know. Uh I'm just saying that because one, that's huge for VR, you know, and two, the other games are gonna eventually lower the sales dramatically, you know, like PlayStation and Xbox. You know, they're not gonna they're not going to sell as much as they used to. Uh, or they're going to find a way to conform and have games for VR that the VR systems can use. Because, like, I tried the PlayStation uh, 4 or whatever, VR, you know, like the headset. It's like a 2 compared to the Oculus Quest, you know, like, and probably the Oculus Rift and, you know, all the VR, uh, the PC VR destroys PlayStation. So it's... It's not really worth it, you know, to be honest with you. Uh, so their smart idea would be to conform where their games are compatible with the Oculus system. You know what I mean? Um, the Quest 2 is smaller, by the way. It's way small. It's it, it, When you look at it, I don't have it, obviously. They didn't give me the, you know, because I don't got a million subscribers. So they didn't give it to me early to show it and all that stuff. But I looked and I did my research. It's way smaller, you know what I mean? It's way lighter, and it has a higher refresh rate, you know what I mean? Uh, Facebook is now taking complete control over their brand, because they own Oculus, you know, Facebook owns Oculus. Um, but with the Oculus, Oculus Quest 2, to use it, you have to be in your Facebook account. So if you don't have a Facebook, because you just don't want one, you know, you don't want your, your life out there like that, or you don't want to mix your Facebook with that, you better make sure you have a Facebook account that you're going to make just for the Oculus Quest 2. They didn't do that yet for the one where you have to be in Facebook. But, I mean, they might eventually. Because they, 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 they're stopping Rift the Rift. They're not making Rift no more. Rift Dash, that is done. They're only going to serve the Oculus Quest 1 and the Oculus Quest 2. That's going to be the only two that they support, update, and just run with. Okay? Um... So if you're one of those people that use VPN or the tour and just generally like protecting your privacy, like I said, you better have an account to, you know, to play the Oculus, to play this machine. I own the Oculus Quest for a bit now, and I haven't been told to lock in the Facebook to use it, but that is possible to change at any time, like I just said, but, you know, I just read it. Uh, the Oculus Quest 2. It has the Snapdragon XR2, which is an amazing chip. I can't even believe that. It's so amazing. I can't believe the Oculus Quest 2 even has that inside it. Like, do you do you can even do your research on the on the Snapdragon XR2 chip and what its capabilities are. You know, it's a, it's amazing. And it has 50% more pixels than the Oculus Quest 1. You know what I mean? 50% more pixels. Um it's 2K per eye resolution, you know what I mean? 2,000 per, uh, 2000 per eye resolution, 2K. Uh, six, six gigabytes of RAM, 
it goes to 256 gigabytes. You know, it goes up that far. You know, hard drive. The strap is soft, you know, because I, I should have brought my Oculus Quest 1 up. It was a little, you know, it didn't hurt me, but a lot of people said it hurts after a while. I could play for hours and it don't hurt me. But, you know, it's now it's like a soft strap. They sell all the straps and other products to make it cushiony and stuff. But their product that they're selling, it's it's a strap. You just tighten it from the back and that's it. You know, the Oculus Quest 1, you have to strap it here, tighten it here, and tighten it up here. It's one spot. You know what I mean? They try to make it more comfortable and more lighter, too. That's also helping make it lighter. Um, uh, next page, sorry. Um, the, the tighten it, blah, blah, The CPU and GPU performance, and I seen the chart, is two times better. It's two times better, you know? The video is four times better. You know what I mean? The display, six times better, you know, than the Oculus Quest 1. The AI performance, you're not going to believe it. It's 11 times better. And the Oculus Quest 1... I'm still happy with it. I think it's absolutely amazing and beyond my imagination. And when I plug it into my PC and do PC VR, uh, like yeah, I can see the grains of sand. I could see like the pores on on the other human skin, you know, on the, on the characters that I'm playing against, you know, or with or they talk to. Um, so it's amazing that this upgraded stuff is happening, you know. Um, we find out where I was. Uh, it's, it supports Wi-Fi 6, so if you got that in, uh, in, you're in luck, especially if you use the Oculus Link, which is no longer in beta mode, because, uh, my Oculus Quest 1, you know, uh, they might stop it, but they call it beta, but it's, it's not really beta to me, it's, I get on my computer through my Oculus, you know, but whatever, uh, for their system it won't be beta, that's a way to play all the Steam VR games, and run your system through the computer for its strength. And for my Quest 1, it makes a noticeable difference, which is why I upgraded my graphics card. You know, I, I upgraded my graphics card because, and it was worth it because it's ridiculous. And Steam VR is how I play Alex. I bought Alex, Half-Life Alex through, uh, you know, Steam. And I brought, uh, I bought Red Dead Redemption off it too, but, uh, you know, I'm playing half like Alex first. I have half half the uh Red Dead Red Dead Redemption for my Xbox One. That's my favorite Xbox One game, but I don't even play Xbox One uh, no more. I, I'm all VR. That's that's all I play. I, I'm even selling my Xbox One, but it's another story. Um, but I don't know how how to do it myself because uh, I don't bother. I have my uh, I, I didn't bother to have a wire hung well above my head by yeah, like the the wire. That they that that they use that I have to use, you know, to make a PC VR. I even taped it, and I have a special wire. I didn't use the Oculus one. I did the other ones on uh that they sell on Amazon. I, I you notice I've been dropping Amazon links, you know, to help out and stuff. But I taped it to one thing, and I have this thing where I can hang it on my wall, and it has a thing like a key. When you back in the eighties, when your key was on your belt ring, you had a, a string. You could pull your key and unlock your door and let go, and it strings back in. That I have on, you know, two spots on my wall, and I don't step on it. It doesn't get in my way, you know. But uh, there's a way to do it wirelessly. You can do, you can hook up wirelessly. You know what I mean? I don't know how to do it on my on mine yet. You know what I mean? Because I, I didn't, I just don't care because the wire doesn't bother me. But you can do it wirelessly, definitely on it too. Um, let me see where I am. Virtual desktop, which is how you get on your computer, on your device, and how you get Steam. Yeah, that's how you get the Steam to open up, the virtual desktop, uh, and you can see everything well. There is a way to use your computer and still use virtual desktop, all wirelessly, you know, like I said. Uh, I'll obviously teach myself eventually, but I, I spent money on the cable with added hanger things that I talked to you about, so I'm just going to get my use out of it. Uh, the Oculus One was 1600 by 1400 pixels and it's a single screen it's you know it's it's two eyeballs but they were using a single screen um this has one screen per eyeball and it has two thousand pixels in each eyeball that is ridiculous that's only that's almost like 4k you know what i mean it's got 2048 by 1080 
That is ridiculous. Yeah, I, oh my God, I can imagine what that's going to look like. That's a significant and noticeable jump per eye. And it's how 50% more pixels, it has 50% more pixels than the Oculus one. So like, and that, that it's just going to be ridiculous. The new controls are more sleek. Uh, they're bigger. They're a little bigger than the Oculus uh, Quest one. They're more like the old, uh, they're the same controller kinds, but they're just a little bigger. You know, because these are a little small, but they're fine for me because I got, you know, I got, I got the small hands, but the Oculus Quest 2 controls, they're a little, they're sleeker looking, but they're, they're a little bigger, they're more comfortable, you know. Um, all the Quest titles do still work on this model, so, you know, you get the Quest 2, you're going to the Quest, it's all the same Quest store, like Quest 1, Quest 2, same store right now, you know what I mean, it's, it, they're shipping it out October 13th to the, the general public, you know, you can pre-order it now. But uh, all the Quest titles do still work on this model, like I said. So you won't lose any games that, that you may have purchased. You won't lose any of them. Or downloaded uh, or sideloaded for free from SideQuest. I did a movie on how to, a video on how to get free games from uh, SideQuest. You know, you won't lose any of that. And it's six gigabytes of RAM it has. Two more than Oculus Quest 1's four gigabytes of RAM which will open up more doors for developers for the Oculus Quest. The first Oculus had better resolution than the Rift S. You know what I mean? So, like, that's just the one. Imagine the two. And they uh, and Facebook made the announcement that they will no longer be selling the Rift or Rift S. I said that. That they are basically discontinued. The Oculus One will still be supported and updated. Made, you know, updates made for it. So there'll be no reason Oculus One owners... To get scared yet. There's no reason to get scared yet saying, oh, I just bought it because it's pretty much still considered new. They're still going to update it and support it. It's it's going to be Oculus Quest 1, Oculus Quest 2. That's it right now, you know? And uh, I believe you probably have, I, I they didn't say this. I believe you probably have another year where they share the same exact store, you know, the exact store. Um but developers are going to start making exclusive games for the Oculus Quest 2, you know what I mean? And uh, that'll be faster, and that'll be better looking. So my opinion, I believe a year will be the amount. October 1st, the games made, wait, the amount of Oculus 1 games made compared to Oculus 2 will be something like 8 to 100, you know what I mean? Like, they're not going to really make tons of Oculus Quest 1 games compared to Oculus Quest 2. They're going to want to keep making Oculus Quest 2 games. Uh, so Facebook will put all its effort into Oculus Quest 2, Working as well as its next device, you know, like while it's working on its next device, maybe called Oculus Quest 3 or or Oculus Fuck You, you know what I mean? I don't know, you know, but they'll always be trying to make the next because they want to beat the Valve in there. You know, there's so many uh, VR devices. And um, another thing, I don't know if I wrote it down, so I'll get to it. If I didn't write it down, I will. I do remember one thing. I'll get to it. Um the Oculus One had a 72 hertz refresh rate, and the Oculus Quest Two will start there, you know, because the games, that's what they do, you know, that they they used to that, and that's what the developers made it for, and uh, but they will be capable. The Oculus Quest Two will be capable of 90 hertz, you know, 90 hertz refresh rate, you know, so those games soon will be pretty much exclusive for Oculus Quest Two. Because Oculus Quest 1 can't refresh at 90 hertz, you know. Maybe if you're doing PC VR, you, you got like a higher refresh rate. But I'm talking about the Quest unit, just, just the way it is. If you're going to the store and buying the games, you can't probably buy their games when they get to that point. When they max out there, the Oculus Quest 2 game, the games for Oculus Quest 2, they'll max it out so it looks the best it can, and it it, get, it uses the the performance and all the work that they put into making that new mask, you know, and the Oculus Quest 1 won't be able to use those games, so they might eventually split up the store, or still share the store and say it's not compatible for that game, I don't know, you know, we'll find out, um, I mean, about the games being made, well, will change and maybe quickly because 90 hertz refresh rate would be awesome you know what i mean the lens movement difference is is different from the oculus quest one the oculus quest one underneath it you move it left and right you know you oops 
you can hold your head and just you just there's like a little switch. You just move it and you could just uh, just adjust it to completely all different ways. You know to make it closer and to make it wider. And you have total control. The Oculus Quest Two, you only have three settings. That's it. Here, like basically here, here, and here. You know, like and, and they said they did that because ninety percent of the people those are the perfect spots. Like their eyeballs will be there, there, or there. So there'll be ten percent of people that might need two less or two more or something, but I, I've I've seen some people's videos that they were they did feel they were a couple less or a couple more. And they said it was still fine, it was still comfortable. So they they did it right. But the difference is, is you you gotta have you gotta do it with your fingers. Like look at your glass, you know, you have your Oculus device not on your head, and just move the glasses yourself to the three settings. So you know that's different. And I don't know if that's a great idea, but I guess we'll find out. You know, uh, the strap part. You know, like the left and the right part, because it's all white. The, the, uh, by the way, the Oculus Quest 2 is white. Oculus Quest 1 is, is black. But uh, the straps right here and right here, with, with even simple, like, wear and tear, regular wear and tear, they get dirty quick, you know. So don't have no dirt on your hands, because that dirt will magnetize. It's like, it will because people were saying they didn't use it super a lot, and they were taking care of it. And the, the straps right here, not this part and, you know, the back part, but it seemed like the harder part, but it's still, you know, all white. It, it was a little dirty. Like, you, you can see the dirt on it. So, so be careful, you know, be, be, be clean. Keep your hands clean when you're touching uh, your device. Um, let me see where I was. The music and other, any other noises and that the game makes, you know, the, you know, what they do with the Oculus Quest 1. It, it ain't that great. It don't suck, but it ain't that great. Oculus Quest 2 is the same way. It's not that great, Don't, but it don't suck. You know, it didn't, they didn't really do much. What I use is DJ headphones over it that I have that are great. And it, I'm immersified inside the, the, the VR because I don't want to hear anything outside plus the music. I want to be inside of it. I want to hear people's footsteps. Like if I'm doing some horror crap and they're like a, down the hallway, I want to hear the scary person or beast behind me so I could book it or turn around and fight it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to hear people outside of my room, you know? Uh, the Oculus Quest 2 will be starting to ship ship them October 13th, so a couple days. But uh, for pre-orders or orders, you know, you can do both. You know, you, if anybody did the pre-orders, they're not going to ship to uh, October 13th. Or you can order October 13th and, you know, and get it'll, it'll get shipped. But, uh, you know, it's good to get the pre-orders because I don't know if they will sell out. They did make a ton of them because they know they did sell out for a while with the Oculus Quest 1. That's why it was expensive for a while, you know, when I bought it, you know, because it was harder, I guess, to get. Because, you know, a lot of people were buying it. And they didn't make what they thought they were going to sell, but they sold a lot. All right. And it starts at $299. Bucks. Don't forget, I paid $549 for mine. I got the 128 gigabyte one. Uh, but the 291 has, uh, the 299 one has 64 gigabytes, you know what I mean? But you're still getting it for 299 That chip alone, the, <laughs> I keep talking about the chip. The chip is fucking ridiculous. So that's good. But but uh, 64 gigabytes, at this point, I'm, a, I'm past it on mine. But don't forget, like the big games that they would make. It would take a lot of gigabytes, especially the games that they're gonna make for Oculus Quest Two. For so for a hundred dollars more, you get two hundred and fifty six gigabytes. You know, and uh, if if you get anywhere near that, you you got you got way too many games. You know what I mean? Like play play your games until you beat them or you get tired of them, and then uninstall them. I mean, you can always reinstall them, uninstall them to install new games. They're still in your library. You know what I mean? So it's almost kind of all right to get to 64. You download, you fill it up, yeah, and then when you beat them or you get tired of them, you uninstall them and you can install new games. So I don't know. That's up to you. There's good, there's good and bads in both. You know, the price it's a hundred dollars more, and uh, but then again, you don't really have to uninstall and install. You don't have to do that. But for someone like me, I don't, I don't mind doing that. But I don't know which one. I am gonna get it. I am gonna get it. But I don't know which one I'm gonna do. All right, and uh, that you'll probably need for these new games. I said that for for it will surely have to have way more gigabytes. So the 64 gigabyte will fill up real quick. You know what I mean? So 
It's a 20 minute video. I just wanted to update you guys on the Oculus Quest 2 and stuff like that. I, I've seen a lot of videos on it for the people that got like a million subscribers. Unfortunately, I don't. I got a lot of subscribers that watch all my videos and I love you guys to death. Even you non-subscribers, you're still watching my videos and I love you guys to death. You know, but at the moment, I'm unable to get the stuff to me. Soon, maybe if I grow a little more, I can start typing to them and tell them, send it to me and I'll do uh, what I'm doing now. But at least I'll have the item so I can show it to you. You know what I mean? So, so that's it. I'm going to leave down below. I'm going to leave the links for, for all of it, for everything, for, for the Oculus Quest, the uh, 64 gigabyte, for the, uh, uh, the 256 gigabyte, and, uh, the, the, the cord to make, plug it into the PC to make it a uh, PC VR. Um, I'm going to leave you those links. So hit, do me a favor, hit those links because they're not going to charge you anything extra. But, but because I referred you and you, you, it's, it brings you right to Amazon, it brings you right to that link, uh, to that game. But since I referred you, you know, it's like I help them make more sales to Amazon. You know, I get like a little cut. So you're going to be helping me out because, uh, I don't think I can monetize my channel, so I'm trying to do do like an Amazon affiliate program. So I'm going to be doing a lot of things, a lot of videos to explain stuff that I think people will want. I won't be doing something like about bunk beds or something like that. I'm going to be doing interesting stuff, you know what I mean? Stuff you might want to sit here or see. But uh, one thing before we go that I recommend, when I play it, I do acid a lot when I play my uh, Oculus VR. And if you do acid when you play Oculus VR... You will be, oh my God, you really feel like you're in there and you really feel like you are that person and the people that are there talking to you, you really feel like you're talking to them. If not, you sniff a couple lines of coke, you know, you know, you're pretty good. You know what I mean? You, you do something, you smoke a blunt, whatever. You need to call me, hit me up here. I, I got it all. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do none of that shit. <laughs> and don't do none of it either. But that does sound good. Then be imagine being on S and being on VR at the same time. That shit, that shit sound like, sounds like a good idea, but it's something I won't do. And uh, hopefully it's something you don't do. But if you do do it, make a video and let me know you made a video. I want to know what it felt like and what it's like. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope everybody learned something. I'll talk to you guys later. Have, have a nice day.